I'm Milana Malstein, registered dietitian, nutritionist, and creator of the 2B Mindset weight loss and nutrition program with Beachbody, and welcome to my grocery run. Grocery bag number one, lettuce, because I love salads and I'm quite the bunny. Kelp noodles, because I'm really obsessed. It's something about being pregnant. For each of my pregnancies, I crave an obscene amount of seaweed and kelp. Asparagus, but I'm very picky with asparagus. I only buy asparagus when it's nice, juicy, and fat like this. Baby carrots are key. I also have some fresh dill because I like to chop it up into some yogurt and make my own homemade ranch or tzatziki. Fresh corn in the summertime especially is an absolute must. Of course, avocado because if you live in California, it's one of the best perks is that we get lots of avocado at really great prices. Next, I have a zucchini because there's almost nothing you can't do with the zucchini. I have five recipes for zucchini in my book, You Can Drop It Alone. Celery is a must. Year long, I always get a huge bunch of celery. Parsnips are great. You can roast it into a medley or you can make parsnip fries. It's a nice spin on a fry. And fresh mint is a great thing to purchase on your next grocery run. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and grab my bag number two. So first I covered a lot of veggies. Now I see a lot of fruits. So some of my favorite fruits, apples. Every time I buy apples, I buy lemons because I squirt some lemon juice over sliced apples to prevent browning. Kiwis, year long, I always try to get mandarin oranges or clementines, always a great refreshing snack. I have some hard cooked eggs. Next we have peanut butter and it doesn't make sense to buy peanut butter in any smaller size container because we go through so much peanut butter. Lastly, we have some whole wheat bread. That's pretty much what I have in bag number two. Now let's go grab my third. Yay, I see more veggies. So this heavy guy is a cabbage. I always try to get a whole cabbage because they last up to three weeks in the back of your fridge. I also like to get shredded cabbage or what they call coleslaw. Next we have cheese. My daughter could actually eat the entire thing. Next we have cream cheese. There's something so delicious about cream cheese. Tuna, big fan of tuna. I make tuna about every Saturday afternoon. I love shirataki noodles, wonder noodles, um, cognac-based noodles, and lastly, nutritional yeast. If you're not used to eating nutritional yeast, I really recommend getting some. It's so good, just really poured on to like roasted vegetables or eggs. It makes everything kind of taste like cheesy, but it is actually vegan, which is pretty cool. And that's everything for bag number three. In this last bag, I have a lot more pantry staples and essentials. So here I have whole grain rice cakes. We have whole wheat tortillas. I also wanted to try something new. As a foodie and a food lover, I always try to get at least one new thing. I am thinking about cutting them into triangles, spraying them with a little coconut oil, dusting them with some cinnamon and air frying them to get almost like a sweet chip. I'll let you know how it goes. Next we have canned corn, chickpeas. Uh, I eat a lot of garbanzo beans. I have some lentil pasta. I am totally obsessed with all the bean and lentil based pastas. I've been eating them for years. I am a huge, huge fan of these bean based pastas and if you've never tried them, you must. And lastly, parchment paper. I always have parchment paper in the house because it's just a great way to lessen your clean load when you're roasting veggies. If you just put parchment paper on a baking sheet, you can roast tons of veggies with herbs and spices, and then you just roll it up and it's like nothing ever happened. Thank you so much for coming with me on my grocery run today. Obviously, every time I go grocery shopping, it's a little bit different depending on what I have in stock or what I'm planning for, but I hope that this run in particular inspires you to try something new.